Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Michael Dunnett here at the Biotech Week Boston in September. I'm joined by Chief Business Officer Eric Vassen of Fujifilm Irvine Scientific. Welcome, Eric. Thank you. So we have a couple of questions for you today. Uh, first question is, what are some of the key factors driving new innovation for bioprocessing? And what is Fujifilm Irvine Scientific doing to contribute to meet industry needs? Uh, so cell culture media is a you know, critical raw material for, uh, for bioprocessing. And at Fujifilm Irvine Scientific, we define success if we are able to meet uh, the um, key challenges of our customers. <coughs> One being um, their uh, time to market. Uh, the other one is uh, offering you know, an uninterrupted you know, supply chain. And, and lastly is uh, helping to lower um, you know, the cost of, uh, of drug substance. And I think in, uh, in the last you know, couple of years, there's been a lot of emphasis on um, uh, supply chain uh, continuity. And at you know, Fujifilm, you know, Irvine Scientific, um, I think you know, we've been successful in that. Uh, we've supported many um, vaccines and therapies uh, during, uh, during COVID-19. And we also made you know, significant investments in our supply chain. Uh, during the pandemic, we've um, uh, brought our new facility in Europe online. Um, that is for powder and liquid manufacturing. And um, uh, it, uh, the site will offer you know, the same quality and service that, uh, that our customers uh, are expecting from the, from the sites in the US and, uh, and Japan. Um, I think also, um, if you're looking at you know, lowering the cost of drug substance, um, we're, uh, we're bringing a technology to market that is you know, called the Yoshio Rover. It's a uh, you know, hydration you know, device. Uh, it's a completely new way of um, um, media prep and, and buffer prep, um, faster and more consistent media in a fully automated and closed uh, system. And, and we believe that this uh, 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 will improve you know, the efficiency at, uh, at our customers. And then with the increased costs of developing these therapies, um, how is Fujifilm Irvine Scientific navigating raw materials and operating costs? To make all um, make, you know, medicines and uh, drug substances you know, available uh, and affordable uh, for everyone, uh, you know, we understand that um, um, uh, there, there is you know, a lot of focus on the cost of goods. Um, having said that, I think you know, the... You know, the, um, you know, the contribution of cell culture media and the total cost of, of manufacturing a drug substance is, is relatively small and uh, we're partnering with our customers you know, to develop uh, um, new technologies and new processes um, that will enable them you know, to bring down uh, you know, the costs. Um, maybe one, uh, one example is I think you know, process intensification is um, uh, you know, changing the way we make you know biological medicines, and uh, our team in uh, in California at uh, our uh, R and D center of excellence uh, is working with uh, you know some state of the art equipment and with other uh, Fujifilm entities to develop uh, in a media that uh, you know support these these processes, and um, I think uh, you will see. You know, some of the first products you know, coming out in, uh, in 2023. And, um, uh, so, that's, so that's one thing. I think you know, we also made uh, you know, investments in you know, the way we manufacture uh, our, our cell culture media. Um, we have you know, one of the industry's you know, largest uh, uh, blenders. Uh, so we're able uh, to manufacture uh, powdered media lots up to six, seven thousand in a kilograms, uh, you know, offering our um, uh, commercial drug manufacturers, uh, you know, the economy of scale and, um, and, and help them, you know, reduce costs and, and, and improve efficiencies. Wow. And then lastly, where do you see bioprocessing in the next five years? And more importantly, where do Fujifilm Irvine Scientific fit into that? 
So um, I think um, uh, we are, um, there, 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 there's continued to be, you know, double digit growth in this industry. That's my expectation. And uh, with that, there are going to be, you know, continuous you know, investments and new innovations that will, you know, continue to shape this, uh, this industry. Um, uh, our Fujifilm corporate is investing, you know, a lot in digitization and in artificial intelligence, machine learning, also in sensor technology. And I think these are all you know, important aspects of um, uh, bioprocessing 4.0. And um, our uh, R&D team is already applying artificial intelligence in uh, their approach to cell culture media development. And it's our expectation that you know, we were, will be able to reduce you know, a lot of the lab work and a lot of time, therefore, uh, in developing uh, you know, media you know, using uh, artificial uh, intelligence. Well, there you have it. Lots of exciting things going on at Fujifilm Irvine Scientific. Eric, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.